everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Emily and I'm so glad you stopped by. Today I have a really, really fun DIY. I haven't seen anybody do this, so I'd be curious if you guys have seen this before or not. I decided to make a hanging basket light. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know I really love baskets. I feel like I thrift them every time I do a thrift haul or any time I go thrifting, I always end up picking up a basket. And I've been very into like those big hanging basket lights. And I know you can get ones from Ikea and probably places like West Elm, but number one, I'm really cheap. And number two, I live in a basement suite and we have really low ceilings. It just didn't make sense to buy a big light with our low ceilings. So I kind of thought, you know, why don't I try and make one and thrift one and see what I can come up with. So let me show you guys what I found and what I'm going to do. This is the basket I picked up from the thrift store. It was $3.99 and it will be the base of my light. My plan is to turn this into a hanging light. And so I want to uh, remove, which I've started to, every other layer of the wicker. We're gonna start there and kind of see what comes of it. This is the progress so far. So all I'm doing is using these scissors and literally like cutting and kind of twisting till it breaks. Finished and now that I have half deconstructed it, not really holding its shape. So I'm going to hot glue it in place. Hot glue is done and now I'm just taking out some of the rows on the top. I cut out just a few of the pieces on top and made this hole. I know it's not pretty but that's where the light is gonna kind of hang through so let me see if I can kind of fit it through there. This is the light that I'm going to use. This light is from Rona. I'm just going to come from inside and stick Hopefully the plug through. So I created two holes. Luckily no one should be able to see the top. And I, I fed, I fed it through twice. And now I'm going to stick it back through for it to then hang, if that makes sense. I tied it so it is hanging. <laughs> Now that it's finished, I'm going to be extra and I think I'm going to macrame over this entire cord. I'm going to be using my, this is the macrame cord I've been using. It's from Home Depot. They're $5.99 for one and I'm going to be cutting it into four 25 feet pieces. I have attached my four macrame cords. All I did was take a smaller string and wrap it all around. And this, like I said, these are each 25 feet just so I have plenty to work with. Quick edit. I wanted to add this. I'm just editing my video and I thought this was important to know. I did use four strings that were each 25 feet. That's what I started with. Number one, I realized I didn't even need the two center strings because there's the cord in the middle. So there's that. Really, you only need two strings that are 25 feet. If you want to do all four, you can, but the two in the middle only need to be the length of the cord or the plug. The two on the ends did need to be really long and I used up almost the entire 25 feet. The two in the middle, they didn't need to be. <laughs> First of all, they didn't even need to be there. And I only used like a portion. Okay, just so you know, if you guys make this, you know, I just make stuff up as I go. So I'm always like, oh, I could have done that different, but I guess that's why I'm doing it. And then you guys can learn from me. Back to the video. And I'm going to do the basic square knot that I have in both of my macrame wall hanging tutorials. So you guys can refer to those. The only difference is for this is that it's one-sided. So let me see if I can show you guys. I'm going to keep this cord 
in the middle. You do the regular square knot, so you make the four. You leave the two in the center, and then you loop this. So it goes over top of the four, under everything, and through that hole, and you pull it through. You are going to pull it tight. Now, if any of you have watched my other tutorials, you know that then you go to the other side, but for something like this, to create a twist, which is what I'm going for, you actually are going to do the same side the entire time. So you make the little loop over top, you go this right on top, and then under and through, and then you just pull that through. So you guys can see pretty shortly it starts to turn and that is what we are going for. Here it is! So I finished up my macrame cord. I just ended up tying it off on the ends and I think it turned out really good. I may need to add a few more hot glue spots, but I think once it's hanging and in place, these things won't move around. But what do you guys think? I think it turned out really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. And if you want, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22 for more of my everyday mom life. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.